Hi guys! I did it again. I bought a bunch of resin supply stuff. I am just completely addicted to making resin art at the moment. I'm going to quickly go through what I got um, in this supply haul and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So I got some more resin to start with. So last time I bought casting resin. I didn't realize but it's very low viscosity resin and it spreads a lot which was why I was having so many issues with it just going everywhere. It's great for doing in molds, um, but yeah, for what I've been doing, probably not the best resin. This also probably isn't the best resin for everything, but it is supposedly very good for making geodes, which I've gotten very into. So this is U Resin's Thick UV Resin and apparently it creates more bubbles and it's not recommended for beginners but that couldn't stop me buying it. I'm going to try it out on something small and see what I learn from that and then proceed to use it on something big. You can see I've only got these two little containers here. It's only two litres. It cost me $110 uh, but I wanted to just get a little bit, see whether I liked it or not um, and yeah, go from there. So I got that. I also took a Udemy, an educational online course about making resin geodes. And so now I'm into doing that. Uh, this is the second one that I have um, sketched out and painted. Um, but you can see on here I have some like little crystal-y type things. And they are made from crushing glass pebbles or river stones. So I bought a lot of those. I think this bag cost me about $7 and it's these nice blue ones. Probably didn't need to buy this bag. I didn't realize how many were in this container, which also cost me $7. It had a variety of colors in it, uh, which I can't really see that much at the moment because I bagged them up all separately so that I could boil them, then put them in ice water, then smash them with a hammer so that they could become little crushed pieces of glass. Uh, I originally couldn't find any of those but could find some of these like hexagon shaped uh, glass stones and I had a go at breaking up some of those in this blue shade but I wasn't really liking the shapes I was getting from them um, and then I realized it, it's probably all right and I, <laughs> I use them anyway right here. So I bought those, I think, I think this bag was maybe $2 of these like clear sort of ones. Um, and so I probably spent about $16 on, no, more than that, getting up to it, about $20 on glass stones just for <laughs> making geodes. I'm a bit silly. Anyway. This is my first uh, geode that I made from that educational course. I am super happy. Um, I love how glitzy it is. I love how defined everything is. I definitely made a lot of mistakes and learned a lot while I was making this. And I did this with the casting resin, so it did spread and do all the things. <laughs> but it was still a good experience um, and hopefully this one was done over like four days. Hopefully this thick stuff, it's not meant to move unless it's manipulated with heat or with a tool. So it'll be uh, really interesting to use some of this on this very small um, picture frame slash box type thing <laughs> and see how I go. I might be able to pour it all at once and I only have to, you know, have one day where I'm pouring and not four, five sessions, something like that. It was a lot of work went into this tiny little thing. Speaking of, this is on a bamboo tray that I got from the reject shop for $10. And I also bought a bigger size of this bamboo tray, which cost me $15. And that one's here. And I currently, I have some uh, no more nails in the sort of outer edge to make it more watertight because I found with one of my uh, previous tray tables that was wood, it started to leak out underneath. So I'm just doing that now as a precaution. Uh, so I have this and I also bought a little silicone strainer, 
because I've seen these videos where people pour through something like this and they get really cool patterns so I want to try that and that's what's on the cards for this little tray here pour some pinks maybe some white and that sort of thing just keep it really uh, I don't know simple I'm thinking I'm gonna use the casting resin for that and if it all just ends up mixing in together if they're all the same shade like uh, same tones they will mix together well so that is one fun little project now I obviously made another U resin um, order because I got this resin so I ordered another little metal powder from Art Tree. This one is in the color Rose Gold. I think it cost me $14.95 um, and I think it's going to be gorgeous as well. I was super impressed with the aluminium smooth I got from them which is this silvery color right here. It's so pigmented and beautiful. So I wanted to get another shade and try it out. I also bought the U Resin Mixed Berry Sparkle. This was one of their limited edition epoxy paste. And it's a lot more purple than I thought it was going to be. I think it was $12.50. I thought it was going to be pink and silver, but it's ended up being more of a uh, more of a purple. But maybe it will change when I add it into resin. So, and plus, I do love purples. Thus, why I bought another purple. <laughs> This one is U Resin's uh, Lavender in a Mousse and uh, it is stunning and I'm super excited to use it. I think it was once again $12.50. I also got another little uh, measuring cup. This one is a smaller one. Uh, I think it was $1.50 or something. This one didn't arrive cracked so that's great. I also bought some craft sand. In the uh, Udemy course, she used some sand on the outer edges of a geode and apparently you can just add like a drop of paint and dye it whatever colour you want. So I just got some white sand and I'm excited to use that with a few things. I got this super cute little cat face silicone mould and it's also got some little cat paws and I, they are just adorable. And I needed to have it. I think it was $2.80 from Daiso. So I will use that at some stage. I got some book cover in this iridescent, like, bluey purple. Um, and I just, like, I really want to try out just put, sticking some of this down on something and putting some clear resin over it. Or putting some translucent coloured resin over it and having this sort of be the gleam through underneath. I also got some wrapping paper. <laughs> I just needed some wrapping paper for my mom's birthday. And I found this silver hologram and it's stunning. And so I needed to buy it. And I thought I could use it in some sort of project. I mean, like, is it cheating if I just put some of this down and clear resin it? Because it's amazing and I love it. And I want things made with it. <laughs> I decided to try out resining just the lids on some glass jars because I think that could be really cute and quite inexpensive of a uh, thing for people to be able to purchase with a little bit of resin artwork without it being like through the roof expensive. So each of these cost two dollars. I really like the diamond pattern in them and that they had a little place for a label. I got three of those and I also got uh, these rose gold ones and this has like a different sort of pattern on it. It's got these lines and it's got a different shade to it <laughs> and uh, yeah they're really cool once again do the same thing. So I got a pack of four of those for $7.95 so basically two dollars again per little container. It's a really small expense and a really small amount of resin has to be used on the top of them so I figure I can sell them very reasonably. I also got some larger jars so this is a 1.5 litre um, and that's got like a very flat lid so that should be very easy to resin and then a slightly larger one as well. So the larger one was $4.95, the smaller one was $3.95 and let me just double check. Yeah, so I showed you that and this. So I was browsing the clearance section at Kmart and came across this clock. 
let me show you the price one whole dollar for a clock that still has completely intact glass the hands don't work it has a completely working hanger at the back so a little bit of no more nails around the outside this is a perfect canvas for some resin and it cost me a dollar so it doesn't have to be once again sold for heaps because it was only a dollar so I'm excited to do something with that it is like already kind of heavy but not heaps heavy so we'll see how that goes in that course she recommended using some canvas panels as your canvas for a resin geode and so I'm going to use these to make up some artworks, just some wall art. Um, they're very lightweight and there's two in a pack here for $6. They're 30 by 40 centimeters. So they're a really good size and I'm excited to try out making a slightly bigger scale um, precise geode on these. So this is a tray, but it's also a table when it's placed on top of its legs. So it's pretty awesome and it cost me $24 from the reject shop. It's very stable and uh, for that price to get something this size and so like functional and nice and solid, I bought four of them. In the last supply haul I showed you that I bought one of these metal tray tables from Kmart. I said it cost $20 but I actually only got charged $11 because it was on sale. So when I came across another one of them I picked it up without hesitation because that is such a great price for these. They're all sold out now unfortunately as is a lot of Kmart stock at the moment. Um, a lot's made in China and we're not getting any more until like late July, August time. So the other day my mom went to Ikea and she picked up some of these Gladom tables. Now that's very like the metal tray table I just um, showed you, but it's slightly bigger. And um, she got one in black and one in blue and a couple in white. So they will be awesome. I really like the trays where it captures all the resin instead of when the resin falls over the edges and onto the table and gets wasted. <laughs> I got a couple of glitter shakers. Now these are very like the ones I got in the last supply haul, but these are different colors. In this one here, you've got some laser cut hearts and some stars, more stars, hearts, stars, <laughs> hearts. It's just like a really fun glitter shaker. And then we've got some chunky glitters in some awesome looking colors as well. Now the, the one I got last time cost me $5.95. Well, these cost me $4.95 each. And I think we can move to the last thing in this haul, which is da, 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 a coffee table, a big coffee table. I'm gonna put it down now, but this one, is from Kmart, it cost me $29, so not that much more than this little tray table. And I really wanted to get it and try a large scale beach scene at some stage in the future. I'm gonna have more practicing and all of that before I move on to this. But even if I completely like mess up on it, um, 29 isn't much more than these ones that I purchased. It's only, you know, 50% more than the round tables I've been doing um, in price in outlay so I although a lot more resin I guess so it, it does add up and all that but yeah I'm so excited to just keep following this passion that I've discovered um, with all my new tools and just create some awesome things thank you for watching I hope to see you in the next video at some stage I'll see you then bye